Hey guys, welcome to the first week look back where I talk about all things in the news about gaming and technology. We start off first with Sony's announcement of the PS Vita TV. The PS Vita TV allows gamers to play PS Vita games along with digital PSP games and PlayStation 1 games. It can also remote play PS4 games. The PS Vita TV supports Japan-specific video services such as Hulu, Tsuyutaya TV, and Nico Nico Duga, as well as Sony's own Video Unlimited, and also includes Vita-style apps such as the Live Tweet Twitter client and Reader eBook software. The PS Vita TV will be available only in Japan on November 14th for around $100, and the bundle including a DualShock 3 controller and an 8GB memory card will be available for $143. And we have more Sony news. Next we go to the new PS Vita model. The new PS Vita model is 20% thinner and 15% lighter than the current model. It also includes a 1GB memory card installed by default and swaps out the current OLED display for a cheaper LCD display. In this picture, you can see the difference with the OLED panel being on top and the LCD on the bottom. The new model will be available, again, only in Japan for around $190 and will be available in 6 different colors. Next, we have Apple's announcement of the iPhone 5S and the 5C. The iPhone 5C is similar to the iPhone 5, being the same size and containing the same A6 chip, but comes with a slightly better battery, an upgraded front-facing camera, and will be available in green, blue, yellow, pink, and white. It comes preloaded with the new iOS 7, and will be available September 20th for $100 for 16GB and $200 for 32GB. The iPhone 5S is a bit more interesting. It contains the new A7 chip, which uses a 64-bit architecture. The phone also has a fancy new camera with a 15% larger sensor. It also has the same new front-facing camera as the iPhone 5C. It also includes a Touch ID fingerprint scanner, allowing users to unlock their phones with their fingerprints. This is also used to verify app and music purchases, as the phone will ask you to scan your fingerprint in order to complete the purchase. The iPhone 5S comes in gray, silver, and gold, and will be available in 16GB, 32GB, and 64GB for $200, $300, and $400, respectively. Next, we have a small bit of news that just emerged a few hours ago. EA announced that the Battlefield 4 beta will be available on October 1st to Battlefield 3 Premium members, and October 4th to everyone. Finally, we have news of things I'm not allowed to show you. Some people have obtained Grand Theft Auto V early and have been posting it to the internet. There's nothing else I can really say about it other than, holy shit, it looks fantastic. Avoid watching any of it because it contains spoilers from missions and stuff, but if you do want to check it out, here is a link on the screen to a Facebook page that has been uploading a ton of gameplay. That's all for this week, guys. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, share, whatever. I don't give a damn. Just uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.